Hi Flight Simmers, it's Thomas and welcome back to Runway Inside Aviation YouTube channel. In this short tutorial, I am going to show you how to get rid of grainy clouds, how to make the clouds look as realistic as possible, even at lower graphics settings. There are two main reasons why your clouds look grainy, so let's make the first adjustment. First of all, you need to locate your user CFG file. For Microsoft Store users, it is located in this PC, C Drive, Users, your username, Updata, Local, Packages, Microsoft Flight Simulator and Local Cache. For Steam users, it is located in this PC, C Drive, Users, your username, Updata, Roaming and then Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once you have located your user CFG file, you can go ahead and open it with Notepad. Now we need to press the combination of Ctrl F in order to bring up this find feature and type in post process without any spaces and press enter. And the first result which should come up is uh, this one with all these uh, different uh, features here. And uh, make sure to switch film grain, which is located right here, from one to zero. If you want to make the very same adjustments for VR, you just need to click into the search feature again and press enter once again, and it should bring up the post-process settings for VR. So just once again, make sure to change your film grain from one to zero. Now just make sure to close the find feature, save the file and start your Microsoft Flight Simulator. So here we are loaded up in a scenario and as you can see the clouds are now less grainy, they're not perfect but it looks definitely a lot better than before and uh, there is another thing we can do in order to make our clouds less grainy. If you are using the NVIDIA Freestyle feature, also known as the NVIDIA in-game filters, make sure that if you are using the sharpen filter in your style, set Ignore film grain to 100%. If I switch this all the way back to zero, you can see that in the distance the clouds are getting a bit grainy and we don't really want that, so make sure to set ignore film grain to 100%. And that's it for this short tutorial, just a little disclaimer, these adjustments won't get rid of the grain entirely, but they will make your clouds look a lot better. I hope you found this video helpful and learned something new from me today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section down below, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until next time, take care guys.